morning. Good morning. How are you? Good. You ready to get going? Oh yeah. Me too. What are we doing today? Well, today I believe Grant has a special project planned for us. So there's this military truck that he's been eyeing for years now. He finally went and asked about it. And um, the guy said, if you can start it, you can have it. So I think that's gonna be the rest of Grant's winter project. But today, <laughs> today I don't think we're gonna be able to get it started. I think we're just going to pull it home. Oh, we're gonna to try to start it. I brought batteries and everything. Okay, it sounds good. <laughs> All right, so I guess we can't have it for free. We gotta pay scrap price for it at least. I knew there was a catch somewhere. Um, Grant, what do you intend on using this military truck for exactly? Uh, hanging out with your dad and his military truck, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Okay, so obviously uh, it's going to be put to real use. You know, you just need a big uh, four-wheel drive semi every once in a while, right? Okay, all right. Oh, here it is. First problem, it would appear that we have a flat tire here. What is he doing over there? <laughs> okay. <laughs> um. Hmm. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> that can't be good. Body is definitely kind of rough. I'm scared to open the door because I know exactly what's going to uh, hop out. Mice, of course. Does anybody know what these numbers mean? Here, uh, if you have any idea, please comment. I'd love to know. I'd love to find out the history of this thing. Yeah, could definitely use some uh, TLC. Let's see if we can get her started. Grant's gonna try. We have a very technical operation here. We all know <laughs> farmer's best friends are vice grips. Apparently they're uh, military truck battery terminal cables best friend as well. So this, the truck is 24 volt and I have two 12 volt batteries, so. 12 plus 12 equals 24. Yeah, I like it. You just kind of wire them up right. Mm, okay, Wait, well. It's not the right even ice cream. So. I, think, I think when this uh, thing tries to start, I might stand far away. I don't know if I want to be close when this thing explodes. I mean starts. <laughs> Hey, you have little faith. I do have very, very little faith. Let's see what the inside of this cab looks like. Ooh. Hmm. Could maybe, maybe use a good wash. Is there even a seat? That's, it looks like there's some springs. Not much of a seat left. I should probably check the oil. Did a mouse jump out at all? That is very surprising. Secure hood before service. <laughs> we'll just leave that right there. Start. Is there anything in there? Oh, hey. Hmm. How old do you think that is? Uh, it doesn't smell very good. Bad sign. I think these trucks can run on, I think they're called multi fuel engines. Like it can run on diesel or on like gas? I don't know about gasoline, but I think like kerosene or like used motor oil maybe. Interesting. Can anybody fact check that in the comments? I don't know about that. Uh, does anyone know how to uh, work, <laughs> work one of these guys? Let's see what we got. Um, don't you have to flip some switches? Probably. Right? I think it's like you start it. 
Oh, this one just has flipping the switch ignition. or fuel pump. All right, ready? Yep. Uh, <gasps> oh, oh my motor. goodness! <laughs> <laughs> wow, I was not expecting that. All right, hold on, Grant. <laughs> okay. All right, try it again. I'm good. Well, I don't think we've got enough juice to... I don't think so either. Well, wow, I'm... It's not locked up, though. I am very impressed. Uh, I, I checked those batteries. They were full, full charge. Maybe it needs a 36 volt battery or 48 volt battery. I, I brought the, uh, the Yankum rope so we can just yank it. So. Okay, well, let's pull this thing into the shop. At least we know. Yeah, there's hope. Oh, you probably hear the tire. Has anyone else adopted the Larson Farm saying junk? I watched one video where they said that, and now when anything happens, this, you know, these tires are shot. I literally just kicked them and said, junk. Like, I don't know. For some reason, I just, I feel like Chet Larson for some reason. It'll explode if you do it in the wrong order. Uh, I know, that's what it feels like, honestly. Oh, you used my favorite one! The little tiny one? Yes, this is the Laura size vice grip. I love this one. <laughs> Maybe I should use like some semi truck batteries instead of the irrigation ones. That might be better. A mouse just ran across the frame and I'm realizing that this tall grass is the perfect place for one of those little suckers to hide in and get me. So I think, I think I might just stay up here for now until all the grant can chase him away. I don't want anything to do with that. You're supposed to say action. Action. Yes, this is a movie set. <laughs> One of our lovely viewers sent this to us. It's the Matt's Off-Road Recovery Edition Yankum Road. We love this thing. You think it's rated for military truck? Um, I sure hope so. How's it look? Excellent. Roadworthy? Uh, I don't know about that, but I think it'll make it to the shop. All right. I believe you. Think that'll hold? It better. All right, here's what we got going on. So I'm going to be in the silver truck and I'm going to pull as hard as I can. Grant is going to be steering as we pull it backwards. I think we're just gonna see how difficult it is to pull this to start out with and then we'll form a game plan for getting it home. In preparation in the silver pickup, I've put it into four low. So we'll see if that works. find a driveway? I think that's the plan. So the closest thing we've found to a field exit on this side of the field, avoiding the highway, 
is driving through a draw, a creek, and up this hill. Now, I know it doesn't look like a very big hill on camera, but about two days ago, we tried to drive up a hill of this approximate slope, and it went terribly. So, I think with the pickup going up this hill, combined with the weight of the military truck, which is not helping us at all, I think we're better off just taking it on the highway for a little bit. If, if this video gets... 12 likes, I'll try pole starting the military truck. <laughs> you heard him. 12 likes, we'll try to pole start. Can't lose this. Very important. Um, good call. Something about the turns we'll have to make. Oh, yeah. Still Christmas, huh? Still Christmas in my world. Alright, if I start waving my hands, you stop. stop? <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm having a good time. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure I have no brakes, so. I'll take that in too. Don't, don't stop on a downhill. <laughs> I'll be getting a new tailgate again. Halfway home. We're making it. Uh, I just stopped to check on Grant back here. It's uh it's it pretty rough. Bouncy in that cap. Like the whole time. <laughs> he just went up and down. Yeah, Laura's burning my new tires off up oh the hills. Oh my goodness. Okay, so when we started a few miles ago, you had 300 miles to empty. Yeah. What's it at now? 270 so oh, man. <laughs> 30 miles. These tires are ovals. It's so rough. And cab footage. Looks like the speedo kind of works. It's kind of gross in here. I'm thinking this thing burns some oil. Now we're at a snail's pace going up this hill. Uh oh. Oh, there goes all my tires. Just barely moving. Oh my goodness. That's what happens when you let Laura drive your stuff. You burn the tires off of it. Alright, looks like we got 12 likes. We got her in gear. No. Got nothing. Smells like diesel.
All I'm saying is this thing has no brakes. He's two feet from running into the tractor. Uh, okay, okay. What about a seed tender on the back of this thing? Hey, there you go. Farm use. I like it. All right, everybody. We are back for round two with this well mower. And I am confident that we're going to finish the job this time. Right, Grant? You think so, huh? Yes. That's my... I, I know we're going to. We're, we're going to get it done this time. <laughs> So if you missed our last episode with this, we arrived on the scene with all of the wrong equipment and the tire was missing and it was just all around in rough shape. It was also considerably more windy and cold than it was today. So we are back with better attitudes, better weather, and all of the right equipment to get the job done. <laughs> so after much struggle, I've determined that we don't have the wrong size tire, the studs are just bent. And unfortunately, it's not a great place for jacking things up. I have tried different places, but the ground is just so squishy. And uh, the thing I didn't bring was a block to support anything. So I'm gonna try to hammer these things out and maybe the tire will fit on. Grant is working on disconnecting things so that we can pull the motor away when this tire's on. Well, guess what? After I tried to bend the studs, we finally just decided to hammer three of them out because we only had two nuts to put on anyways. So this is what we got now. It is the wrong size rim and there's now only two little studs holding on. So I, I feel pretty confident in this because these two are really good and this center thing is fit nicely so it's not all the weight is riding on this rim, not the studs. So we only have like three miles to the shop and it's gravel roads, so. We should be fine. Everything is disconnected. Tire is on. Look at that. I inflated both tires as well. Whew. That's all she wrote. Time to get this sucker back to the shop. Seems to be holding together well. Man, we're really filling the shop with stuff now. Military truck and the planter to go through. Well, we successfully got it home and in the shop. So I guess stay tuned for, I wouldn't necessarily call it a build series. Maybe just, just a, more of like a small restoration series no, on this military truck. there's no restoring truck. this thing. This is a, uh, what we got? What that Do you called? hear that? Um, hmm. Well, this is like a, <laughs> let's get it running. Type of thing. Okay. Well, if you have any advice or ideas or anything along these lines or know anything about stuff like this, please comment. Like we need all the help we can get. We'll be reading all the comments. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more on Military Truck. Subscribe and like for more. Oh yeah, 12 likes. We'll try I mean, to pull start this. I think we got 12 likes already. So I, I tried pull start. Remember when it, you couldn't really pull it on flat ground? Oh, that was you? Yeah, I was. Oh my so goodness. So I don't know. I probably, it probably wasn't the best thing to do, but 
right. Well, thanks for liking or and watching. If you're <laughs> Appreciate around it. central Nebraska and you have the big tires, like not these semi, or like for 20 inch rims, like the big rims, like the. Well, we'll flip in this. Those size tires. <laughs> okay. Let me know. I would like to come get them. All right. See you later, you guys.